Hello friends, welcome back to this new episode and in this episode I will show you how to calculate the total price and also I will show you how to show the total quantity or total item on the card to the number. So let's get started. But if you are new on my channel, consider to do subscribe on my channel and turn on notification. So let's go back to my Eclipse ID and here this project is running on my browser so right now in my cart item has no product and uh, let's add the one product here so it seems our product has been added so you can see that uh, one product is on my cart page so the thing i would like to do first at show the total item on my cart how many uh, product has been added to the card so i would like to see the number so so for that um, I will go back to my navbar area so here you can see that uh, I already added uh, the re request um, set attribute and a cut list to the session I mean the to the request session so let's uh, go back to my uh, includes folder and into the number and this is our total cut item so here I am going to write some code span and this span has a class uh, badge batch and batch danger so in our cart page we added this request attribute so that means now we can use this attribute in our project so how to use that so i'm going to copy it and uh, jsp expression tag and you can just paste it cart list dot we can say size so this size will give us the total item on our cart actually it will return us the total cart size so let's uh, save it and then we'll go back to our cart page and refresh it so now you can see that we have a quantity pass on our cart side so it seems it's uh, stuck with together so we can set a padding here x1 so refresh the page so now seems it's okay okay now cart quantity is here but what if if i go back to home page you can see that we lost our cut uh, quantity so how to get it back so for that we need to um, add this request scope in our every page so let's uh, copy this item Control c and go back to your index page and uh, underneath this get all product paste it here so meantime i don't need this uh, cut item i also don't need this i also don't need this but here i would like to import it so by utility dot array list so here you can say make it list control s so now if i goes back to my home page again so now you can see this uh, cut item so but for that we also need to set it to our login page and registration page so go back to login page so paste it here also go back to we don't have registration page right now so we don't need to paste it here so also we need to uh, set it in our order space so that's all save all pages then refresh it so index page is available go to cut page is available go to login page it seems something error here mm -hmm. okay what's the error so it seems that uh, we don't have the import state just uh, copy it and paste it here save then refresh okay now it's still working perfectly and uh, login okay now if i goes back to order page it also seems that what is null then in order page we also need that import statement Control s and refresh the page okay now it's available in all, all the pages okay so let me close those all index page uh, login page order space so now it's the time to show a total price in this area this total price now this total price is hard coded so i would like to show that using dynamically the how many products we have and what is the uh, total price of that quantity so okay let's add to another uh, product in our card so it's added it's two now it's showing two total two items 
so let's uh, go back to our product DAO and our resource resource class source and DAO this is product DAO here I'm going to create a, another method this is a public double and get total cut price so here I'm going to pass a array list and which is a cut cut list first of all say double sum equal to zero and then just return that sum so here i am starting with the try cache block to handle exception we don't print structures okay. and here the things i would like to do i will get the price all the price from the products and then calculate it so let's say query equal to select uh, price from products uh, where id equal to what we don't notice the id uh, so this is a query to get the price for a specific product but uh, here notice that we are using an array list so we are not uh, passing a single product we are passing a list of products so here uh, i'm starting a condition to check that if our cart list is not empty cart list dot uh, size greater than zero that means we have the product so now i am going to start a for loop which is a cart uh, type so let's say item and uh, cart list so in this for loop i am going to run this query because from here I will get the specific product ID because when we are adding the product in our cut list actually we are including the product ID so say PST equal to this dot con dot prepare statement and um, PST dot set integer in first position so we, are, we can say item dot get ID and now we can say uh, RS equal to pst dot execute query now we can do the sum while rs dot uh, next now we can say uh, sum plus equal rs dot get double and uh, which is price and uh, multiple by get uh, item dot item dot uh, get uh, quantity so because each item has a quantity so it can be one two three mm -hmm. and i'm going to get the price and then i'm going to sum with the or sum value initially which is zero so if if i have a one product so this product has price is 20 dollar and it's a quantity one so it will calculate uh, uh, 20 multiple one then it's return 20 and then i'm going to sum it 0 plus 20 so it will return as a 20 so it will uh, through the loop until uh, our cut list has item okay so that's all for this uh, method i think so we are done with this so let's uh, go to our cut page and um, uh, call this uh, pdow to get cut uh, total price and we have that uh, cut list I'm going to paste it here and so mm, here I can add the total price request scope request dot and set attribute now here I can say total and um, here I can say double total okay so I can pass the argument here total request dot oh I see sorry so it's a uh, control x so this is our paste it here so it's uh, done right now and uh, come back to our total price area so just here say dollar sign total so save it and uh, go back to page and refresh it so now it's a uh, restored our session so we need to start it again so if i say add one product then add another product so if i go to the cart so now it can see that total price okay so if i add this one here go to the cut page now can see that uh, we have uh, the total price is here so add one more go to the cut page now you can see 914.49 cent so it's uh, returning the total price okay so if there is no product so i would like to show that uh, is a zero so how to do that uh, 
So let's uh, come back here. So let's uh, write a condition here. It's a total, and this is a. If there is a total, then it will show the total. Otherwise, it will show zero. Let's um, go back to our page and uh, refresh it. And uh, we are getting an error here. So what is showing that? Cut number forty-four. Okay. So we need to set a condition or is total greater than zero, then it will show. Okay. Now it's okay. Let's say restart the server. Then it will destroy our session. And there I, uh, we can see the total price is zero. Since our project has been started, and here you can see the though we have uh, now zero because now there is an item in our cart list. So if I add uh, one, then you can see this one and this total price is six nine point nine ninety nine. And now what we will do? We also need to link our uh, this uh, HRF to the uh, increment and decrement. So that uh, for that I'm going to create a servlet uh, which is increment and decrement. Mm, so new create servlet quantity increment decrement servlet. Click on next and then edit the URL. Click on edit uh, which will be quantity under dash increment and dash decrement and remove this sublet click on ok next we need to do get do put and do post method so we also need constructor from super class click on finish so okay so how to do that so click on this quantity increment decrement copy it go to the cart page and uh, paste it here and also paste it here so right now it's the same i'm just going to check it in writer out equal to a response dot get writer and uh, out dot print ln increment document sublet so i'm going to so restart our server okay it's restarted and uh, if i go to cart home page and uh, add to cart uh, add to products and go to the cart page and if i click on this increment or decrement items it goes to our quantity increment or decrement servlet so if i click on here so we'll go to that servlet so in next video i will add some condition to this uh, url and uh, uh, get the data in our servlet and we will set the condition how to increment and decrement the quantity for the cut product so see you in next video